So today we are going to be working on the rat rod wagon. I picked this up from a thrift store for pretty cheap and then it's obviously got some rust that we need to take care of but plan is to slam it, extend the front so that we can still have a turning radius of some sort, invert the front assembly so that it'll be a lot lower and then sell it to some car show guy so he can drag his kids or car parts around. So we're going to address the rust issue. We're going to figure out what the layout would be for the under frame so that I can connect the front to the rear and then put the tub back on top of that. Should be pretty straightforward and then we'll go from there. So obviously the first order of business was to disassemble everything. We're gonna address all this rust. I've got some um, navel jelly, whatever you wanna call it, 3M rust remover. We're gonna treat all the rusty areas. Make sure that all of this rotates real well so we'll grease it before we put it back together. Probably gonna have to take these wheels apart to get these runner legs off because we're not gonna be using those. Should be pretty basically easy. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so it looks like I'm out of rust remover, but a little known fact in the automotive world is that brake fluid also will remove rust. So if you have any expired, because this stuff does expire, it absorbs moisture and it will become more water than it is brake fluid. After a while it goes bad. So if you have any old brake fluid, especially once it gets down about halfway, if I've had it on the shelf for a long time, I, I just use it for other stuff like this. So what you can do is just put a little brake fluid on the material. Once the brake fluid sits for a little while, it will actually remove all the rust, especially if you take a wire brush to it after afterwards. But mainly letting it set in the brake fluid is what's going to do most of the work. Also a reminder you guys, if you think of anything we could do with all these airbags, comment below, let me know. I've got a ton of airbags. I really need to use them for something cool. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just gonna soak the heads of these hardware in a little bit right here. Normally leaving them for a few minutes is really all it takes and then you can wipe them clean or wire brush them or whatever you need to do. All right, let those soak. Now we can move on to this pan. As you can see, there's obviously some rust here. The paint started to flake off, but that's okay. We're going rat rod. We'll knock off any excess paint and dirt. We'll take what's left of our brake fluid. A little here, a little there. You definitely don't want to get this stuff on your garage floor without cleaning it up because it is slippery. Very, very slippery. Pretty sure this stuff takes paint off as well, so don't get it anywhere you don't want the paint to be removed. Again, we're going red rod, so it doesn't really matter much. Yuck. And I can kind of tell already somebody was riding around with a fat kid in here because this whole tub is just completely bowed out. Yeah, definitely had a fat kid in it. There we go. So I'm going to continue to let this soak. It'll probably take up some more paint. We'll patina the rest of it, make it match, and then we'll go from there. So now that we've got everything torn down, we've got our rust being treated, hardware being treated. Next step will be to fabricate some sort of frame to attach the front and rear and mount the tub to it, and that'll be part two.